to those that are new welcome and to those that are coming back welcome to miss kv educator mathematics channel here we are learning to conquer math problems with ease in today's lesson we are going to be talking about functions when we speak of a function we are referring to a special relationship between an input and an output However, for the purpose of this video, we are only going to look at ordinary level functions where we simply learn different types of notations that are used for functions as well as all the calculations involving functions. For every topic in mathematics, it's very important that you master your basics. You need to know what it is that you expect under the topic of functions. We either expect to be working with one function or with two functions. In these first examples, we are going to be looking at what questions we can possibly get when we are working with one function. For example, you are given that f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Now the question is asking you to find. Before we proceed with what to find, we want to remind ourselves of the fact that this function could have been given to us as f of x equal to 2x plus 3 or it could have been given to us as y equal to 2x plus 3 or perhaps f of x is 2x plus 3 and it would mean exactly the same. So all these notations could have been used. The very first question that you can expect under function is after having a function f of x equal to 2x plus 3, they can ask you to find, for example, f of negative 2. But what does this actually mean? I know that f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Now they want me to find f of negative 2. What does that mean? x became negative 2. So it just means that on the other side, which is the right-hand side, I must also replace x with negative 2. So it means f of negative 2 will be 2 and then negative 2 to replace x plus 3, and then I do my calculation, which is equal to negative 1. Remember, math is a language that you should be able to speak. So if you know that the original was f of x equal to 2x plus 3, it just means now f of negative 2, you replace x with negative 2. The second kind of question that you can expect is f of x equal to 3. This is when they make the function equal to a number. So remember, we are working with one function. So either you are given a number to replace x, or perhaps they make the function equal to a number. So what does this mean then? So the function, which is now, in this case, f of x, which is 2x plus 3, is made equal to 3. So you're just replacing f of x with what is equal to, and then you say equal to 3 since you are told that f of x is equal to 3. And then it looks like a linear equation, right? not looks like it is a linear equation so you simply solve for x so you take 3 to the other side and because it's plus 3 you subtract 3 do the same on the other side you're left with 2x equal to 0 and to get rid of 2 you divide both sides by 2 and you have x is equal to 0 then we have these individuals who think no the answer cannot be 0 they start judging themselves please you do not know how the answer looks like but if you trust your method and you know you did everything right, then you know you are content with what you got. So there's nothing like, um, I feel that it's not right, as if you are just doing, as long as you're just doing math, but you don't know what you're doing. Stick to your method, and if you know your method is right, you're fine. So we go to C. So the third and last kind of question that we can expect when we are working with one function is to find the inverse of f of x or it can be denoted as f to the power negative one and then we put x in brackets so those two things means the same thing they could say find and then they just put that notation or find the inverse of f of x so what do we do when we are asked to find the inverse we have steps that we are going to follow we know from the first uh, question that f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 so the very first step that we are going to look at, and it's important that you take note of your steps, right? So the very first step is to change f of x or replace f of x with y. 
Now, what does that mean? It just means instead of writing f of x as f of x, you will write it as y equal to 2x plus 3. And we know from the introduction that f of x as the leading term or y as the leading term means the same thing. The second step is to swap x and y, just meaning x becomes y and y becomes x. So it means my equation will now be x equal to 2y plus 3. The third step is actually to solve for y, which means the same thing as make y the subject of the formula. So how do I do that? It's up to you whether you want to swap the, the, the two sides. By that I mean put 2y plus 3 on the other side and then x on the right hand side. Or you could also decide, I don't like to work like that. I, I'll just solve to keep y alone. So I subtract 3 from both sides. Then I'm on the left hand side I'll have x minus 3. And on the right hand side I'll be left with only 2y. Then I'll divide both sides with 2 to get rid of the 2 next to y so that y can be alone and it will cancel and I'll have. Then you'll be left with x minus 3 over 2 is equal to y, which means the same thing as y equal to x minus 3 over 2. Therefore, our inverse of f of x is equal to x minus 3 over 2. If you go back to where we had 2y alone on its side, we could have decided to divide each term by 2. And x over 2 means the same thing as 1 over 2x minus, of course, 3 over 2 equal to y. And that is the same as x minus 3 over 2. So if you write your inverse as in the inverse of f of x equal to x minus 3 over 2, and if another person writes the inverse is equal to a half x minus 3 over 2, both of you are correct. Both of you will get your full marks. Remember your steps. Remember your steps. It looks like I zoomed in too much here. So please go back to the part where the steps are clear. Make sure you master them. They are your weapons to getting your inverse right. So for your homework, please... Make sure that you answer question A, Roman 1, as well as question B for the next video.